Yes. Oh, well, the video started. Oh, well, hi. Well, this is Shirish and welcome back to my channel. Well, I have a question for you. Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Call of Duty, God of War, Red Dead Redemption. What do these games have in common? Well, not only were these the best-selling games in recent times, they're also the result of hundreds of thousands of hours of hard work, imagination, and of course, coding brilliance. Want to be a part of that team that can create the best games ever? So let's talk about how to be a part of your favorite game universe by becoming a game developer. Yes, today we're going to talk about an amazing career, game development, and steps to pursue that career. Well, before I begin this video, remember to download a free guide on selecting the right career by clicking in the link in the description box. Well, in this video, I will talk about five key points. What is game development? What is the future scope and career opportunities in this field? What skills are required to be game developer or game designer? Roles and responsibilities of game developer? And a complete roadmap on how to build your career in this career. Now, this career we're talking about is called game development, which is predominantly with the background of technical, like computers. If you're looking for a career solely on gaming, like how you can live your earning through playing different leagues online as gaming, I'm going to do another video on gaming career. This is game development. Let's speed it up for game development. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Considering the ever-increasing popularity of video games, it's no surprise that there are now many people who make them and there's one such career as game developer or game designer. While their work is similar to other types in some ways like the design and program visuals as well as code, this group has an additional responsibility testing your computer game levels so they can ensure player satisfaction without any bugs or glitches. Game developers are in charge of making video games fun and interactive. They use programming languages like C Sharp or JavaScript to write the code that supplies logic for players, but they also have other responsibilities throughout the game development, from testing it out while fixing any bugs along the way up till release day as well, and even after that. Game developers create specifications for a game and use those specifications to tell the rest of the team the plan. They bring the storyline to life as well as the characters, activities, scoring system and environment of the game. They continue to make improvements to the game even after its release. Such enhancements include add-ons to the game that introduce new levels and functionality. Now let's just talk about what is game development exactly is. The process of making video games is not an easy one, but if you have passion for gaming and coding, you will surely enjoy this career a lot. There are many different stages from designing the concept all throughout programming and gameplay systems with some assistive design work. Game developers are often confused with game designers, so allow me to clarify the difference between these two types. Game designer and game developer may sound like the same thing, but for those who are considering a career in this field, both are very different career options. If I try to put it simply, game designers are the creative minds, the ones who visualize the entire process from start to finish. Game developers are those who bring all this thing to life through coding. Game designers are creative minds or idea generators. They spend their days dreaming up new games and then turning those ideas into reality often working alongside other professionals in order to do so, from graphic designer all the way down through programming or animation stages if needed. Well, game designers are, must also be aware of how players will navigate around each level, which ensures consistency throughout gameplay experiences. Game developers, on the other hand, are essentially programmers. They focus more on the technical aspects of the game, such as creating scripts and applying them to different kinds of platform like PC, Mac, phone app, their specific console and other things so that everything runs smoothly without any bugs. And they also look for performance characteristics. That includes understanding how coding languages work, like Perl, C Sharp, JavaScript, and all others. So ideally, you can choose either game designer or game developer. Both are a great career field these days. Well, let's understand more about this career with a future scope salary offer top companies hiring for game developers. Well, let's be clear. Today, gaming is no longer for kids or just an average hobby. It's a booming industry with scope for continuous innovation. 
Year after year, the ecosystem of gaming is evolving and growing all around the world. So much so that there are professional leagues around the globe where players can make a living out of it. And surely, there's a bright future for the gaming industry. This field requires a lot of skill as well as offers a great professional development. You will typically begin at a junior level and will train on the job under the supervision of more experienced role of lead developer. Some companies even develop their own software specific to their needs and much of the training of this is done in-house. With a fast-moving games industry, it's not enough to be a good designer. You need an eye for technology and creativity. If your skill set doesn't keep up with the changes in software packages or working methods, then someone else will take over before you. Postgraduate study is an excellent way to develop skills in games programming, software development, and game engineering. Courses on these topics are available at universities all over the world for those who want them. And I have given some amazing online courses that you can pursue. You can find the details in the description box as well. Now let's discuss the future scope and why it is important career field in the years to come. The gaming industry is quickly becoming one of the biggest sectors in entertainment. Yes, that's true. And it's no surprise that this trend has continued with games such as GTA 5 being the fastest video game to earn over $1 billion. Do you know how many days? Just three days. While Avengers the Endgame made almost $800,000 in the opening weekend, Grand Theft Auto earned $1 billion in just over three days of its release. And GTA 5 was released way back in 2013. Well, the gaming industry is definitely booming. The total number of online gamers grew about 8% from 360 million to about 390 million. The number of gamers is expected to cross over 450 million by 2023, provided by data by EY. Well, global gaming is really rapidly improving. There are also opportunities to develop your career in most parts of the world. Game development jobs can be found in countries such as Japan, USA, Canada, Germany, France, and Scandinavia. Some of the potential career paths that you can pursue after game development are AI programmer, computer software engineer, 2D, 3D game developer, lead programmer are amongst many. Senior level positions include technical directors, developers, producers, and team managers. Companies that offer jobs in these roles are definitely Sony, Oracle, Amazon, Gorilla Games, Nintendo, all the big brands of gaming, they offer jobs available in this and even the companies which are with animation and chipset companies. When we talk about an average salary for a game developer role these days in the job market for an entry level job is somewhere about $65,000 to about $120,000 US on the world scale, which is really great. Now that we know there's a huge growth in game development career, let's explore skills required and job responsibilities of an idle workday in this profession. Well, game developers need a versatile skill set to succeed in this dynamic work environment of gaming. These core competencies include the following. Number one is definitely strong technical skills. First and foremost, you obviously need a good background in coding with familiarity to basic gaming programming languages. You also need the artistic flair for graphics beyond coding skills. Animation, graphics play an important role in video games. As someone who wants this career path, if possible, study UI design, scenery, construction, character modeling, etc. Because they all are related subjects that will help you create an unforgettable product stand apart from others on the shelves already. Possessing artistic and technical skills will help create a game that is like lifelike, vivid and realistic, which helps to stand out in the market. Well, next come problem solving aptitude. Game developers need to overcome possible daily challenges and resolve technical glitches. Confidence and patience is what will help you succeed when you approach problems or debug code. Thinking out of the box and looking at problems differently can prove to be a useful skill too. Next is gaming experience. Yes. Well, many game developers choose to enter the field because they enjoy playing video games and their gaming experience can be a powerful asset in their work. Well, having gaming experience can help them understand what drives gamers to choose certain games and can give them an extensive knowledge of game mechanics. It can also provide them with inspiration and help them understand current trends in gaming. Well, the next come time management skills. Yes. Well, video games are complex. There's so much complexity and detail in them, from the story element all the way through how a game looks on screen or off. But to pull off pieces together, you need more than two heads sometimes. And it takes time too. 
So award winning titles can take years before they are completed, which means that this type environment isn't always ideal for collaboration. If you focus is solely on creating art without any other aspects involved. So make sure time management is what you have. Next is creativity and diversity. Creativity is the key to success in this gaming industry. In this industry filled with creative ideas, you need something original and incredible for your game's world or else people will colonize and walk over you right over. Alongside creativity comes understanding cultural preferences across cultures. Tastes vary depending upon where someone lives around the globe. So as a designer or developer, you must try to make a, this game appealing globally and locally, which is within the country. You must know how different countries think differently when selecting what types of gameplay elements would best resonate positively versus negatively. Next is communication skills. Communication is a great skill to have and it is an area often overlooked by programmers and technical people. To succeed as a games designer, however, you will need to communicate your vision and ideas to other project team, members like visual artists, producers, music and sound effects specialists and marketers. Well, after skills, now let's talk about roles and responsibilities of a game developer. Let's talk about what exactly game developer does. Well, the main responsibilities of a game developer's role include creating initial storylines and character biographies, translating ideas into efficient code, constructing the game base engine, generating storyboards and game scripts, contributing to the audio and graphic design, animating game characters and environment, developing milestones and schedules in the game, creating game quality unit tests, maintaining code and fixing game bugs, creating game specifications and operating instructions. A game developer's working hours typically depend on their place of work and the company as well. In most private companies, developers are expected to work regular business hours, whereas some of them also need to be available round the clock because if suddenly a code breaks or something comes up, that is time sensitive. Well, now let's look into the most curious section on how to pursue this career with complete step-by-step -step roadmap for school students, college students, and professionals who wish to switch or enhance skills for better roles. Well, typically, becoming a game developer will require at least a basic education in computers and gaming for sure. So if you like gaming a lot, you can surely explore this career. But you need a proper degree in this field if you want to mix gaming and technology. Even though there are smaller diploma courses available of the same, I highly recommend taking a proper graduation course either in computer science and game development or a bachelor of science in animation, game design and development. Or simply a CS degree would also be a great start for this career. A lot of universities are offering a lot of programs that can educate you to be in game developer actually. Some such universities that have world-class programs are MIT, University of Southern California, Stanford University, Rochester Institute of Technology, Columbia University, Purdue University, University of Waterloo, Toronto University, University of Windsor, Trinity Western University, and many universities such as that. I usually recommend starting your preparation as early as possible. You can explore the field with a couple of month long introductory courses in online platforms like Coursera, edX and all. And as always, I've listed some amazing courses for you in the description box to help you get started. For postgraduates who don't have a background in the field, but still would like some formal education, I recommend to have courses like advanced diploma in game programming and advanced diploma in game design and development application to get you started with necessary technical knowledge. If you're in the same field, it's great. You can straight away go to a master's level and work on game designing. Along with these courses, take up internships or jobs in gaming industry or similar to gain some relevant experience. For professionals, becoming a game developer would come easy if you have similar background. If not, I recommend the above mentioned advanced diplomas or maybe degrees or even a master program if you are good with that. If you don't have a background in computers at all, the knowledge and interest are the keys and will always come first for sure. A lot of coders are self-taught coder in this modern age. And with vast sea of knowledge out there, it can be very easy to do. Once you have enough confidence in the subject and command on the required skill, start applying for the bigger roles. So in the end, to conclude, if you are a creative person, curious, love to code and love to play games, problem solver and gaming enthusiast, then success as game developer should come easily to you. And this could be the right career for you.
Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. I will see you shortly with another amazing video on career, college admission and living extraordinary. Till then, this is Shri signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.